Like I said, this class is used to being aggressive. Get it in there and get it done. <laughs> oh my god, get fucking wrecked. Alright y'all, welcome back. And as y'all already know, I'm fucking pissed. Now some of you guys might be asking, Dan, why are you pissed? So I already recorded this video once. I finished shooting it, got all the footage and everything organized, got it into my editing software, and that's when I noticed that none of my gameplay had any fucking audio. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Mr. Stupid. I had about an hour and a half of gameplay and didn't have any fucking audio. And I hit a few pretty decent clips in that hour and a half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to chop it up into a little mini montage for you guys to check out. And now, our feature presentation. We're back playing The Last of Us. Now today, I'm gonna be trying out the hunting rifle. Now there's a reason why I started using the hunting rifle. Now anybody who plays The Last of Us multiplayer even a decent amount knows, every once in a couple of games, you always run into that one player in the lobby who just can't seem to miss a fucking shot ever with the hunting rifle. You look at him, headshot. You don't see him, headshot. Sometimes, you might even be able to sneak up on this guy and still, Headshot. Now this is the loadout that I've been using that I've had uh, a decent amount of success with. So I use the hunting rifle with sharpshooter 3 so that I get health when I get headshots, which is what you want to be going for with the hunting rifle. And I have less sway and damage wobble. I also have first aid training 2 so I can use health kits better. Now explosive expert 2 is kind of the perk that uh, I can either go with or without. Sometimes explosive expert is nice and sometimes I feel like it doesn't do a damn thing. I think I'm going to switch this out for Hawkeye 2 because explosive expert is just not consistent enough for me to use and then i also have awareness which is one of my favorite perks in the game which just allows me to have more information and see people's name tags so yeah before we get into the video i just want to thank you guys for the continued support that you've been showing on my last of us videos well all my videos actually you guys have just been dropping likes and leaving dope comments that have just been motivating me to make more videos this is just one comment that stood out to me from the last last of us video that i posted nice video have a like and a sub your rant about sticks was hilarious. Greets from Switzerland. Fucking Switzerland. So like I said, thank you guys for all the support and it just keeps on motivating me to make videos. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. And without further ado, let's get it. So uh, sniping in this game is actually pretty satisfying. Once you get the hang of it, it's really, it's just something about just getting a headshot on somebody that's just pretty fucking dope. Now the way that I use this uh, class, like if you noticed, I don't have uh, covert training on this class. So this isn't, this class isn't really made for just like lurking with the sniper. This class is really made for just like being up in the action, sniping people one oh, I can't see I can't see I remember when I first used this back in uh when I was playing last of us on the ps3 like I was okay with it but once I, I came back to it after not Look at using those sorry, it in a while, such a I've actually had a decent amount of uh what decent amount of success using this shit. God. Oh shit. I think I just shot my team. Get out the way! Get out! Get out of the way! Got him. Woo! Were they all right here? One down. Uniform down. Got him. Woohoo! I'm not scared. Fuck you! Uniform down! Got him! 
YOLO. That one's dead. Yo, what I what I just did there was fucking stupid, yo. When it comes to sniping in this game, like you want to pick your battles, and confidence is uh, it's pretty key. And confidence can also get you fucking killed. Cause there will be times, especially when you're going up against other snipers, you're just like, yeah, I'm better than this dude. And the next thing you know, you get your fucking head sniped off, and you're just like, oh shit. So I guess make sure to pick your battles before taking on people. Like if you're if you're confident enough in yourself, then go for it. But also just be smart at the same time. Oh my. Nice accuracy, dude. I think I just got two shot it with a semi. So shout out to the homie Rich. Um, in my last video, he left a comment basically explaining why I get matched up against uh, higher level players. And it's just basically because uh, the way the Last of Us' uh, matchmaking system works. Oh, what the? Hold oh, that. Down one uniform. Like I said, this class is used for being aggressive. Get it in there and get it that done. Ain't <laughs> up. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, the homie Rich basically explaining how the matchmaking system works, and it's basically based off of a KD system and not uh, a level system. So you just you're just getting matched with people who have uh, similar KDs as you most of the time. Ooh, that was a close one. So we're playing on Lakeside, which is a very uh, sniper friendly map. And like every time I play on Lakeside, it seems like everybody and their fucking mother is using a sniper on this map. So like anytime I'm on a team where there's more than two play, where there's more than two players sniping. Oh, I'm, I am ass. Oh my God, get fucking wrecked. Oh my, yo. Yo, bro, and I swear, some, like, sometimes some of these shots, I don't know how I just be hitting these shits, like, legit. If I'm ever on a team or anything, like, oh, the trade! Yeah, but like I was saying, every time, if I'm on a team and there's more than, uh, and there's more than two people sniping, I normally switch classes just because we don't, you don't need three people sniping. Got him. Just pop your head out one time. Fuckers down. Watch yourself! Ah, motherfucker! Oh, man. That wasn't a headshot, though? Over there, firefly! Got you? Are you gonna shoot me or what? Yeah, you tried. Firefly! Got him. Let's do it to these boys. The 2v5 comeback. Let's get it. Nope. We run in time, baby. We run. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Why are you teabagging me? Like, you're using a, a, a fucking tack shoddy, bro. Yo, keep me in this fucking lobby. That's one way to trigger me low key is to teabag me, bro. All done, let's go. Yeah, like the way I... Get him up, get him up. Freedom. Down one uniform! <laughs> wow, my boy really got headshot and then just left the game. Fuck! Fuck. I'm down. Oh my god. Take this! trying to use the bow because like the next loadout that I'm doing is kind of bow related. That's one down. down. Yeah, like I've really just been uh I've been trying to use the bow because in the next I have I've had a loadout request to use the bow and the bow is just now the bow has a learning curve to it. Like I'm trying to get used to it, trying to use it more, trying to get good with it, but it's definitely it definitely takes some uh, getting used to it. There's a dude with a shotgun over here. Fuck! I'm down! And you're gonna fucking teabag, bro. You're using a shotgun. Now, now I'm Aggie. Fuck this down! Try some smoke! Go. Woo. That 
was a that was an interesting turn of events. Oh, this this is anybody's oh game. My God. Oh sh. All done. Fucking Let's stick, go. Dude. And that's how you end a game, boys! That's how you end a game! Let's go! And that's how you end a fucking video. Like I said, I'm trying to get good with the hunting rifle. I'm okay with it, but I'm trying to get fucking nasty. So, um, yeah, like I said in the opening of the video, thank you guys for all the support you've been showing on my Last of Us videos, and it just keeps motivating me to make videos. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy. And if you want to see more like this shit,